finally. Baba Booey. Took for fucking ever to get all this, all this started. It's all your fault, Scotty. <laughs> you shut the fuck up, Manny. Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. She tells him she's at church, but she doesn't go. So she's on her knees, and Scotty doesn't know. Number two, baby. We made it to number two. How about that, fellas? Yeah. I know. It's already been a week. I know. I've missed you guys. All I've been thinking about was just the next episode for the the last week. No, you weren't. I was. I swear to God. Okay. I believe you. Yeah. What you dipping there, Hoss? Longhorn, because I'm a broke motherfucker. Well, what you got there? Is that wild turkey? Oh, he's man. got a Batman utility vest, is what he's got. It's called Dude. technically alcoholic. If I was a chick, <laughs> that's the kind of guy I'd fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you need to bring that to the title tomorrow. Yeah. The tactical vest? Yeah. If I remember to take all the ammo out of it, absolutely. <laughs> no, leave the ammo. Yeah, dude. relieve the ammo, man. It's you know, the last I checked, about. last I checked, it was the gun that was illegal, not the ammo. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, we're in Florida. It's open carry in this state. Yeah, I openly carry my bongs with me, bitch. Not in a bar. Um, <laughs> was that a terrorist thing? I can see Manny what? being really good with nunchucks. No, I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Do not make fun of kid. nunchucks, Nanny. I have a kid to prove I have had sex at least once. <laughs> Did you see that meme I posted today? It was uh, all the nerds on the internet turning against Henry Cavill. No. I Who's saw that? something about that. He's a he nerd Superman? just like us. And mm-hmm. then he touches one woman. He's nothing like us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you sent it to me actually. Yeah, you did send it to me. They played The Witcher, played Superman, played very He's other funny, very dude. forgettable that guy's things. Fuck. I'll tell you what, the um, oh, the, the video that specimen. the video that, that, that Turkel made with like Amanda Hoffman and, and those girls oh, was dude. actually was actually really funny. I was pissed at yeah, the yet. Yeah, the then when Davis was getting fucking fuck in the Davis. Ass. He's like, oh, <laughs> it's Amanda, please stop. Your boyfriend will stop fucking me. <laughs> I definitely need to check this out. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Was that Sierra's sister or somebody? Dude? In the video, the, the one that he was shitting on. So... Yeah. <laughs> Wait, they were shitting now? <laughs> no, he was just fucking roasting one of these chicks. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, nothing like flaming a woman. <laughs> Absolutely <Damn>. not. <laughs> so, By the way, Scotty. Yeah. Just want to say happy National Boyfriend Day to you. Oh, fuck. Happy oh, National Boyfriend okay. to, Day to all you guys. I see. I see where I fit on the top. We're all going to be gotcha. we're all going to be touching dicks tomorrow. Listen, yeah. you are married. You don't talk. Shut up, dude. Saying. Okay. No one else yeah. offered to suck you off as fast as I did. This is true. Fair this enough. Is true. Yeah. And this eat is... Manny's ass if I had to. It's fair. Mm-hmm. Fair. <laughs> I would love to go full I, butterscotch. I would, I would love to watch that butterscotch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Could you imagine the cornfield of ass hair he has? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like his fucking beard already. It's a That'd deep so hole, man. All the, all the ex- a lot of ground to cover. All the extra testosterone you've been taking, yeah, dude. It's it's probably like a fucking like canyon of just hair, and it's probably like you one. Like, it's probably one like a transgender. Going there with a machete to like, probably, like take down the fucking shrubbage. It's, it's probably like when when a, when a trans woman gets his dick removed, and and it's like because apparently like the hair grows inside of the vagina. I bet that's what you're. Oh, whoa. I bet, I bet that's you why it looks like. Burn? Yeah. Oh my god. It's like it's like it's, it. like it's like it's like it's like it's like fucking like it's like fucking okay, a couch, hold on, Rick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold Perfect. On. Okay, so let's just say this is true because we don't know, but for the sake of the conversation, let's just say it's true. How how do you shave that? You don't. You put Does it there. just grow they, out they, like they, a fucking oh, Hitler there? Sack? Like, I did my balls. Like, like it literally, it, it looks like this. 
It probably just looks like this the entire time. Oh when you, when you don't trade God. or shave it, yeah. I, it looks I like a rabbit the, foot coming there. out of the pussy, dude. Yeah. I nair the fuck out of my balls. I don't oh. know. Ooh. I bet, they, I, no dude, I, bet it, I bet it stinks well, when you when you nair your nuts. No, not really. Really? I don't know. Because yeah. like nair just smells like chemically and like just burning hair in general just smells awful. Pubic so, hair. To my defense, there's a reason why I nair and I don't shave. The first time I tried to save my sack, I was 17 years old and I nicked my dick and it bled forever and it freaked me the fuck oh. out. And I said, never again. And I got forever. to the point where it literally looked like a mushroom cap growing in a fucking rainforest. Mm-hmm. And I, I had to do something about it. Oh man, all that mom. Is that a piece of gub? <laughs> it's, like what, a, what, it's a button in a fur coat. <laughs> Fucking hung like an elevator <laughs> button, baby. <laughs> I'm glad oh, you guys man. like the gulag sound that I make. That makes me yes. happy. Hilarious. Dude, I, I cannot believe the timing. I was at Starbucks yesterday, and literally I heard these two fucking guys speak in Russian. And then I'm like, what if they're not Russian? All of a sudden I hear the barista go, Dimitri. I'm like, fucking what do you know? <laughs> Dimitri. Oh, thank you, bitch. You're running me over ex-wife. I killed her. Yeah. Oh, so that's, yeah, why real man. that's why I'm currently wearing this outfit because I felt like it was – the most Russian thing I owned. Yeah, I, I watched the machine the other night, so that's why I got so very good. in the in the Russian. Uh, I, it was silly. It was, good. it was silly. I liked it. It was. You silly. know, I was good. I was eating mushrooms when I watched it. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm a comedy. We get to... You can't really critique it. You just take I'm it for like... what it is. Just, I mean, exactly. I I didn't hate it. I, I thought it was just like I was like, oh Jesus, was so... I was hoping like more, uh, like. Like the comics would make like appearances because he because he did yeah. say like my fat ass friend Tom and I were doing a podcast. That was pretty funny. When he that said was that. pretty good. <laughs> and then under and the Halle bridge, the there's background. graffiti that says uh, yeah. under the bridge graffiti that says Tom is fat. Yeah, I didn't see that. <laughs> I did not see that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's under it's under the bridge. I think it's after they got out. Yeah, it's after they got out of the the hotel when he's like, I killed someone. No, you killed three someone's. Hmm. It's in that scene. It's on the bottom right when they're like panned out, looking at yeah. the whole scene from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was kind of. But I there's was kinda, this is Thomas Fat. I was kind of hoping it was <laughs> fucking hilarious. I was kind of hoping like during like one of the fight scenes when Bert was fighting the other Russian guy that Mark mm-hmm. Campbell was, was going to say, "Did your buddy Joe Rogan teach you how to do MMA or something like that?" Yeah. I, I think I think that would have been hilarious right there while he's getting his yeah. ass kicked by by fucking Ivan think- Drago Jr. <laughs> I think uh, Joe Rogan. At least a sober October reference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, Rogan was probably like, please don't include me in this bullshit. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad, you know, for sober October because it just goes to show you. Everyone's a pussy. How gay everyone else is. <laughs> we don't do that sober bullshit around yeah, here. Dude, we have actual problems. We're fucking mowing it down over here. <laughs> The gayest uh, thing about me is that I'm California sober. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Dude, so am I though. That's why we that's why I fucking I loved you, I think, before I even knew you. Yeah. Sorry to all yeah. the gay Californians out there. Yeah, dude, I'm just trying to get my willy touched. Hey, twenty bucks is twenty bucks, man. I remember, that out. Out. No, I remember when I first met Manny <laughs> at Ordinance One. You're saying, you and Kevin took me hostage. And you we did. Me, we did take you hostage. But, but, fucking but, jokes. No, but before, no, but before we, no, but before we, we got to know you. I remember your, uh, yeah, before I introduced myself to you, I remember you're sitting in the back uh, couch, just going like this. I was nervous as fuck. I didn't know and, anyone. And, and then I'm like, I think Period, I've seen this huh? guy before, and uh, nope. and I was just like, hey. <laughs> I think I've seen you. I'm I'm excited to see you perform, and then you fucking blew me away, and I'm like, I gotta blow this guy now. Oh, Whatever, wow. Look at Manny, dude. Flex on the but, first but, that, but literally, yeah, we took him hostage. Me me and Kevin Holly, and literally, we're just, just saying the worst thing. Yeah, I sh- showed That's up funny. an absolute fucking nobody. Nobody knew me. I didn't go with anyone. Yeah. And I remember, too, Smart G was the one that was uh, hosting that oh, yeah, night, some- doing his uh, freestyle Guitar shit he does is just yeah. fucking mind blowing. Yeah, he's, and he's I've never a seen fucking him genius. <laughs> he's a he's a genius. Yeah, yeah, there was a guy DJ there the first time I ever went. And... Yeah, mm-hmm. it was it was uh, Steven's brother. It's Wilhelm. Wilhelm. Ah, Wilhelm. 
you know, the funny nickels. thing is, is me and Manny basically have the same story about how we all met. Yeah. Really? That or yeah. yeah. Well, you, that was like your second or third time doing comedy. Uh, when That was his second went. time ever. No, his second time was at when Seaside. I no, it was at Seaside with Kevin. I, I told because yeah. he, he did the first okay. time when, when Corey hosted and then I, and he fucking blew, blew me away. And I was just like, Hey, so must have been third. I said, Hey, Sunday, you're coming to this spot. All right. You're like, okay. And then that's where he met LJ, um, fucking Patrick Welsh and a bunch of other people. And he were just sitting at the bar, just drinking beer. Like he's been a part of the crew, a part oh, of the comedy crew. Okay. For years. Really quick. I thought the way Kevin Holly and Patrick Welsh interacted on Facebook, that Kevin fucking hated him. Oh, so no, when no, I no. kept seeing them interact and oh, all yeah, that, no, I was no. so You're confused. No. <laughs> oh no, they're very close. Oh yeah, I, I noticed after a while they're yeah, just they're very close. They're uh, on each other, but yeah, I would yeah. say that they're uh, California close. <laughs> but um, but um, fucking dry docking. Nah. By the way, <laughs> did anybody else see? Uh, Cam Patterson shouting out the gimmick on Kill Tony today. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit, no. really. Yeah, they just opened another location too, out Lando Lakes. The gimmick, nice. really? Wait, what? Atlanta Lakes, where Mandy's at? In my area? I think so, bro. Yeah, it's no. closer to me than it is going down there. Shout out to Sean yeah, at the gimmick. Yeah, the book fifty minutes Sean. away from me, but I live right in Lando Lakes. Wait, so no, that's guys, true. That's we have to be we have to play guitar in order to be booked at the gimmick. <laughs> Oh God! Well, funny. Hey, I don't I play, do play guitar. Management. I do, but I don't do co- guitar and comedy. I'm not gay. I'm I can I'm play people's there, patience. Dude. I can play the skin flute like a motherfucker. <laughs> That's a fact. I, I know play, you can. I can play your patience. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> I, I can play with your bit. balls. Uh, if you okay. listen to any of the rumors about me from the past week, I can play your heart like a motherfucker. That's all right. People thought if people really took rumors seriously, I, I've been sucking Jeff off since I started comedy. So. <laughs> Little do they know, he doesn't even have a penis. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you go by rumors, I'm apparently funny. So, apparent. Get the fuck, dude. I heard you fucking suck, dude. And if I if you go by my rumors, I'm Mr. Beast's dad. You started that rumor. I did not start that rumor. That was yeah, TikTok. You did. Yeah, you did. No, I fucking did yeah, not. Did. That's all TikTok, motherfuckers. Bro, my son, <laughs> my son was looking at YouTube oh, on uh, the Roku, Christ. and he saw Mr. Beast, and he goes, "Is that your friend Scotty T? How does he know <laughs> who I am, dude? How old's your son? son? How old's your son? Four. He's I gotta, a genius. I, I gotta get off YouTube." <laughs> <laughs> I gotta literally just quit my. I just gotta fucking end my channel. Like I said, it's ridiculous. it's ridiculous. I said the same thing about TikTok eight hundred times, and I was like, "I'm gonna do it. Today's gonna be the day." And it never happened until they forced me off. So <laughs> it'll come. Just keep uploading these episodes onto that's, your YouTube. You'll get thrown off sooner or later. So fucking funny that your son. No, these episodes is, are great, dude. <laughs> I just oh, I just hope your son I just hope your son doesn't watch any of my podcast or, or our podcast now. God damn. No, no, mm-hmm. I was actually just busting your balls, dude. Oh god, I was just like, you kidding me? I'm like four years old. But you're you have your son on fucking YouTube at four? Like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you should see his porn oh. hub history. <laughs> Wait, do you guys hear that? You guys hear that? It's what? the autism police coming to arrest Rick. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what is Justin doing here? Oh my god! Um, All I, hey, we should we should make this an event before I post the actual podcast itself. How does that sound, guys? So, oh, sounds, we're going there. By the way, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to announce this now. Uh, October 21st. I'm doing off the set. I don't know what I'm doing. That's my show. Okay. Wait, what? You're doing what? Off the set with Justin Manges. Oh, wait, I thought you just did. And Jeremy Molinari. I thought you just yeah. did Justin's podcast. I did. It was the first episode. It never got fucking released because he fucked up the audio so bad. Did he fuck the audio with you too, Manny? Yep. It never got recorded. So you guys just sat there and yeah. talked for like three hours? An uh, hour and a half. I would have demanded Who him to give me money. Who the fuck is Justin? Oh, you haven't met him? Oh, my God. You haven't met him yet? He's an interesting character. He was oh, at Orbit one the Justin. other day when you were Maybe there, bro. I've met him, and I'm just an idiot, dude. He's the one that did the, the one joke on stage about he and said that he's autistic. 
but he's not autistic. He's just a well, the tucked in shirt, the NASA hoodie. No, wait, no, the tucked in shirt. Do you think of Jeff? Oh, no, Jeff, Jeff's not autistic. Here, take your Facebook. Let's have a look here. He kind of looks like. Did you send it already? Not yet. I'm trying. I'm trying to determine who who this guy might look like. I don't know. Every I fucking. I sent him a picture of him. I don't know. I every just him, I every just him every, every Pedowan to catch oh, okay, a predator. Dude, yeah, I've seen him. Every lackey white supremacist in every movie about white supremacy. Ever. <laughs> Yeah, the one that had the one that's kind of like special needs. Every incel that's like, oh, I hate women, but I still open doors for women. Died. By the way, um, I hope it doesn't watch this I, episode. I feel like I feel like it's safe for me to announce this. I hope so. Announce it. Kicking wings. Yeah, I still have a vested interest in the success of that mic. Okay, it's officially moving. What do you mean moving? Moving to Wednesdays. Days or locations? To Wednesdays, opposite of title. Yep. The first Wednesday show. Okay. <laughs> I will be hosting. We are going to try and attempt to have our first headliner. Ooh. Is I already think it is. All right, I already know this, so you can tell them. <laughs> Candace August. Gonna be a good fucking you're show. just you're just that's <laughs> no that's but she's great that's awesome a little on the nose <laughs> dude i'm pissed why are you pissed you didn't ask me you fucking no Aunt there's Lisa a reason killer? we'll talk about there's a reason we'll talk about off camera <laughs> yeah. she came up to me at soggy bottom last week and she was like i heard you run a mic up in hudson i really want to be on it Dude, I was like, well, first off, it's an honor that you'd want to be on something that I'm playing on, but I'm no longer doing it. And I linked Absolutely. up for an EJ, and that's Very the good. whole uh, story behind that. And hopefully things come into fruition. I'm speaking it into existence right now. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, man, it, it's going to be fucking <laughs> awesome if that works. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, dude. And at least there'll be an audience, and at least you'll probably get paid it for it, you know? Not probably. We'll get, hopefully get paid for it. Unlike, you know, one show that she was supposed to headline when nobody showed up. Yeah, okay. We're going there, huh? Uh, no. Ah. All I'm saying is, like, I don't trust Italians who sound like they ordered a number six off a deli menu and stuck with that as a name. You ever is heard of me, dude? You ever heard of the Rick Russo? That's a fucking, that's a <laughs> delicious meal right there. I, I that's fucking, a number seven. I trust the number seven. I need, I need the seven. shit out, out of a Rick Russo. I yeah. need it with my ass. I know. I would Stop. eat Sky G's ass after he ate a Rick Russo just to taste a Rick Russo. Why don't we do like a uh, like a human centipede where Rick Rick eats Manny's ass, I eat Rick's ass, and you eat my ass? As long as there's are we gonna do like that means I'm are last? We, are we gonna make no? I'm last. I'm eating your ass. Nobody's eating my ass. If we make a circle though, that means Scotty can then be eating my ass. Yeah. Like no, no, Manny. Circle. Manny would be oh. Manny would be eating your ass. It would, it would be a a gobble ghoul, a gobble ghoul, a centipede. I don't fuck it. I just kill myself. We just call it the circle of life. The circle of life. Oh, it's like cat dog, but worse. Like an Ouroboros. <laughs> it's cat dog, but worse. Oh. By the way, I I don't want to admit this, but I kind of have to. I Wait, listened to the entire. Uh, Spanish version of the Tarzan album today. Isn't it great? Oh my it's God. fucking fantastic. Isn't it great? <laughs> it's better than the English version. Right. And, so good. and, and The but, lyrics are a little different, though. And Phil Collins instead of did saying it all? Strangers, instead of saying, I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. He says, I want to know if you know, I want to know about how strange I am. Oh. Huh. Oh. Mm-hmm. See, I didn't know that. And I'm trying to get in touch with more of my Hispanic side because um, <laughs> apparently there's this entire genre of music <laughs> called Tejano. Yeah, it's a oh, yeah. Listen, yeah, I've been listening yeah, yeah, to a yeah. lot of Tejano rap and Tejano punk Beedy, lately. Beedy, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, no shit. Check out Tejano. And check out um, Giovanni and the Hired Guns. 
I Ooh. listen to a lot of UK grime and UK mm-hmm. rap. There is an what artist like, out there. Go away, the EMYT is in crumpets, you motherfucking bitch. Oh, no, they got no hard idea. Shit. You have no idea how talented it is. It's so much better than anything American made recently. Have you ever Look listened up to an artist called uh, Ocean Wisdom? Yep. Yeah, he actually have... got it. Dizzy Rascal, right? Dizzy Rascal, the fucking UK Rascal. Juggalo. I love I love UK Juggalo. Baggers. Yeah, what Dizzy is, Rascal is, is insane. Is their version of Fago like fucking T or something like that? <laughs> it's Earl Gray. <laughs> Earl Gay. <laughs> Fligo. I never it's had Fligo one. before. I can't love listen one. to it. Nah, it's <laughs> way more cockney than that, bro. I've tried. It's that's okay. that's too that's too high class. You got you got to go way more. Rick, you do music, that. right? You, you, yeah, you... I've been playing since I was like seven. Nice. Well, I don't brag about it. What do you play? No big deal. <laughs> what do you play? Yeah, I've, been, I've been playing drums since I was seven. Oh, my okay. wife pulled up the song you're talking about. Me here and Rick Russo did music. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I just got that. dip all over my microphone. And then I started rapping for a while. And I'm really good at freestyle, but dude, we need to do a freestyle open mic because I actually have a hidden talent where I used to freestyle because I thought I was black at one point in my life. And it turns I'm just out really just really good at it. Have you at seen the time? Yourself? It turns out your credit score is terrible. At the, the time, there wasn't here. At the time, there wasn't such thing as hip hop, so it looks really out of place. Hip hop, <laughs> yeah. We talk about Eminem's been in the game for a way now. He's black. Yeah, no, dude. He he, 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 <laughs> yeah, he's got the hood pass. Yeah, he's yeah. M doesn't want to admit, but he could say the N-word and get away with it. I'm working on an album uh, right will. now, dude. Literally. But really? Got way too much Wait, who Do could, you? Are you? Who could say the N-word and get, can get away with it? Eminem. Me. But oh, he Eminem. won't. Nah, because he he's got way too much integrity for that. No. Exactly. He's a fucking gentleman. I mean, he I said it. He, I mean, we we all know he said it before. He's from fucking Michigan, so yeah. Yeah, dude, he's not a gentleman. There's no way. All right, on. We're overlooking something. Rick, tell us about this album you're working on. Please, motherfucker. T- t- album? Oh, well, we just, Rah, I mean, Rah, uh, it's gonna be a lot of all. So takeout is also a beat god for a lot of people that don't know that. Like he's really, really, really? yeah, dude, he's fucking so talented. Um, and then so we took a beat of yeah. his. We're putting like guitar and djembe African drum over it, and like um doing these crazy fucking freestyles, but they're comedic. Well, and not need... little dicky style. So like, like bitch, Joe... I'll still kill you. But kind of like, 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 you like, said like it. filthy Frank Joji, that guy. He made like comedic yeah. like uh, freestyles be- before well, he went all need... before he went all queefy. If you needed a, like an Eddie Griffin esque interlude, like that was on two thousand one, let me know. I'm down, dude. I'm serious. I, like, I'll come to you and I'll record it. The Eddie more Griffin, the we do, the better. Guy? Like, fuck, dude. Oh. The Gabagooligan show when we finally put that together and us four, I'm dead ass serious. Oh wait, no, Scotty wasn't there when we had this whole fucking conversation today. I uh, know. <laughs> Scotty oh. doesn't know. Get yeah, up, yeah. What 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 happened? Sleeps through phone calls. I I thought it was a butt dial, and I was just like, oh, whatever. Did you fuck. not see the three people were on the? Wasn't it call? weird that no. the two of us joined? I didn't see All you guys join. Were in there. I didn't see you guys joined. Wow, it, 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 it literally popped in <laughs> gobble gooligans on my phone like that, and then I was just like, ah, it's probably a butt dial. Fuck that. And I'm, he and... was getting domed <laughs> off by Miranda and didn't have time for us. You just did that to show us you had a girlfriend on your phone. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I was up late. Look, I have a girlfriend, dude. Yeah, look at me. Nice I... before, and dude, when you're still a girlfriend, you're still getting your fucking dick sucked pretty often. It's true. No, that's not true. <laughs> well, more often I was, and I was up late writing too, guys. So yes. Anyway, what what's this, what's guys. this? What's the scoop? What did I miss this morning? <laughs> Rick, if you'd like to fill in Scotty on the big I'd like plan. To fill him up in the F- yeah, fill in his F- holes. Fill up, fill up my orifice. What's fill his out? holes, Rick. Fill I'd be hole. honored. I know you <laughs> shave your asshole. Uh, I got dumb. It's not that hairy, to be honest with you. Ugh. I never mind as well, so, you know. I'm terrified. Narrified. Uh, anyways. All right. All right, continue. Fill him in. <laughs> 
I uh, I don't remember. All right, so basically, oh, yeah. Rick has this big plan for Guy Mulligan show. All right, <laughs> that, Jesus that Christ. <laughs> we already have all the in-house shit, dude. So it's literally oh, just a matter oh, of us finding finding oh, a place. Oh, we we, you we kinda, talked. You and we, I kind of talked about. We it. talked about this last night. So I so I was in the fucking conversation. Rick and I talked about this last night. Mm-hmm. Whatever, bitch. No. Okay. okay. Shut up, man. <laughs> but yes, dude. Like it, it needs to happen, and I'm just saying. Yes. Like it's 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 literally a matter of finding the right place, having enough time. I figured out a lot of shit that we'll talk about on the last thing that I did in order to sell like 200 tickets yeah, just by ourselves. So it's like, it's so doable. And yeah. Where did you do that show? Fucking show? Yeah. The show that with John and all of them, where, where, which, where, where was that? Was it a theater, right? Yeah. It was a central studio. It's like an old school building in Ebor built by the mob when they came here. Oh. I know exactly the building. Nice. Yeah. Three Gobble story Gooligans, mob dude. They'll be like, fucking let's go. Yeah. We should so all go that- get dinner. Beforehand at the Columbia, and we'll all go get the Bambino meal. Mm. Yeah, yeah, let's fucking do that, dude. I'm oh, just no. saying okay. the possibilities are endless. It's just a matter of, and I've been saying this since the beginning. And a lot of people that are like, you know, super tenored, but still fucking suck and don't fucking no one likes them. Yeah, all they tell people is like, stay in your lane, work the door for five years, and maybe one day you'll get a spot. It's like it's five years. Ha! What the fuck are you talking about? So it's literally yeah. a matter of shit, doing sound, sounds like sunshine. Your shit. Sounds like Sunshine City. God damn! <laughs> I love sunshine, dude. Dude, never uh, been there. Don't have an opinion. Yeah, I don't. We'll but talk, we'll talk about another time. That's what I love about this group of guys, though, is because we all have the go getter mentality. Mm-hmm. We are doing everything so outside of the box from what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fucking great, dude. Like absolutely. <laughs> But we um, I just interject myself at it. headliner shows. <laughs> what we what we should do, uh, yeah, for the Gobble Gulligan show, let's yeah, fucking yeah. yeah, the four of us obviously do our time. Then fucking let's have like EJ host or something. Only if his wife pegs him on stage. That yeah. that too. We'll we'll make sure mm-hmm. that happens. So like, we, I have yeah. ideas where. This needs to be just like totally different than just stand up. We can yeah, do stand up as well. Yeah. But like, have you guys ever seen, and like, I'm not trying to like rip off anyone's ideas, but have you ever seen a YMH live? Yeah. Your mom's yeah. house live show? No. Where it's just the show fucked up shit. Yeah. I, I would really love fucked to up do shit. That. That, that'd be Comments fun to tell too. It. I mean, what we could do, we I mean, we could do that, but we could also like start the show off with us doing just stand up, and then and then after that, just do like kind of like what they do after. And like, like honestly, something similar. If we do it every if we do it every like three months. Yeah, it'll build up um, the feeling of urgency because if you miss out, it's like fuck, I gotta wait another three months. That yeah. like we don't we don't record these until we get like big uh-huh. enough with it where we can actually record one and release it somewhere. Yeah. I got a couple ideas too, bro. And the last, like what I did, the reason we did it so different, like and all the comics that were involved were like, man, this was such a different show to be a part of. You know, we did crazy like costume changes in between, smoke, crazy music, fucking I got thrown on the floor, I cut my hand open on accident, all kinds of crazy shit happened. It sounds like a vaudeville show, what you did. Like a 1920s like vaudeville show where they did like stand up, but also like like skits and acting with costume changes and stuff, dude, and actual mm-hmm. people get that. that that's cool it's as fuck. Different, dude. That's the whole point. Like, who the fuck wants to keep going to the same generic bullshit where you got a shitty host, 15 yeah. fucking minutes of an explanation of what you can't do, this all this fucking <laughs> bullshit, and you're just sitting there like, God damn it, when's the fun gonna start? Yeah, you, you know what point. I mean? And and that's what matters is being so different because everyone else is going, and you're next, and you're next, and you're next. Have a great night. Nah, you got a fucking ma- big point right there, dude. So, so, question Do they have yonder bags at this venue? We can't do it at the central, dude. There's so many seats there, and they're booked out for six months. Ooh. A yonder bag. But there's it's other great, places. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Because if we're going to go that hard on stage, it's going to be like Legion of Skanks live. And hell, e- hell, even if we did like, uh, even like a mixture, kind of like a bump and mics thing, you know, just, you know, roast each other, roast the crowd, bring people up, see if they can roast us. We roast them back. It's, it's, endless op- it's endless opportunities that, that we can do and it's not like necessarily yeah. we're, we're copying people off it's like no not no, not really i mean people do this shit all the time without calling it fucking bumping mics yeah. yeah uh not to pimp my own shit but october 13th king of the mountain beverly hills florida <laughs> i will be yeah, facing fucking three hours away i'll be i'll be facing truck automobile it's only an hour and 20 minutes for me three carbon yeah. monoxide <laughs> See, but dude, that's the shit that's important. Y'all are already, you know what I mean? For the amount of time, as far as how long everybody's been involved, they're already Mm -hmm. doing shit that people of four years still can't fucking seem to do. Yeah, you got a a point, man. Dude, everyone's already doing something right. Yeah. And you just got to continue following your fucking artistic and autistic capabilities with this shit they, there you go hell i'm even (laughs) down to do like funny i mean obviously i want to do like sketch uh you know shit too like you know where we film but even even like on stage sketch stuff you know where we just do like funny like bits on stage like like Mm -hmm. acting i think that'd be fucking awesome right there it is like so, the like like the Fago bit that that, that I'm currently <laughs> writing by the way, on right now. I have an idea. Tell us um, for this stage show. My okay. buddy Julian, who I bounce with, he wants to uh, be our N word translator so bad. <laughs> we do Say the like stage you. show, and Say anytime you. we got to translate, we'll just bring him up on stage with us, and he sits so behind us. Go ahead, go ahead. And he'll just, we'll just hand the, he'll have his own microphone, and he'll know because he's black. They can sense when a white person's about to say it. They got and, uh, <laughs> the hairs on their neck stand up. They have ninja senses. <laughs> so, <laughs> you imagine if I just come in and drop it at the end and just they call the, they shit. call the nadar the nadar the nadar. <laughs> 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 nadar. <laughs> just come in at the end and go negro. <laughs> you know that word on uh, negative. I do have a skit that 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 I I've been wanting to like write for a while, and I think it'd be fucking hilarious. It, it's gonna it's gonna be called, hands, and uh, yeah, I'm trying so to fuck it anymore, dude. They're gonna steal it. Yeah, so I, 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 I'm gonna I totally I'm gonna had... I'm gonna block it out uh, before while well, when I edit this shit. Yeah, one totally hand is no e, the other hand it. is fried chicken. Yeah, that I totally, or... I totally had a bit about that. <laughs> when I first started off, it was first started doing comedy. I had a bit how like Cubans with good intentions will take a perfectly good name and make it racist by accident. Yeah, just by changing one letter. Because I have known somebody named N word before. Oh my god! But I came up with another name, Miguel. I've never met anybody with that name, but <laughs> really, you've never met anyone named Miguel. With an N. With an N. Oh. Miguel. <laughs> yeah. Miguel Sanchez. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'll whoa. I'll just wait. Uh-huh. No, oh, he went there. He went there. No, that's an actual word. It, it means to bother somebody. Oh. That doesn't make it any better. You never you never heard of the villain? Uh, like, it's like a fucking spoof comic version called the... What the fuck? I, can't, I I got a lot of work. I got, like a lot of Morty I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's... Yeah. How many Mick Ultras deep are you right now, homeboy? God damn. Number two. half of one. Number two. It's this like my... six bush lights for me before the racism starts to creep out. And your sunglasses are already sideways. <laughs> you, Scotty. <laughs> so I actually had an idea about because I've been thinking about this a lot because. You guys know Mark Bennett, right? Mm, kind of. Lakeland guy. Uh, uh, Steve Simone like took him under his uh, wing or whatever. Listen, you're He's, under like, that fucking honeydew him. umbrella. We're not no, 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 no. Mark, Wait, Mark the, is a local why, guy. Why, why Mark is a you, local guy. Why the, why'd you put that on there? Because he didn't know what he looked like. So that was from earlier when you weren't fucking paying attention, Scotty. Go just show <laughs> you who the real friends in this group are. 
Scotty's in yeah, his own exactly. fucking Mr. Beast orbit, and we're just out mm-hmm. here sucking mm-hmm. on his crabs. Yeah, dude, all his fucking Anywho. plaques and shit. Anywho, Mark introduced me on stage. <laughs> Shut up, and Anthony, goes, and your stupid fucking bulletproof vest. Yeah, I don't know. cool. <laughs> Mark introduces me on stage at Sykes Winter's open mic and says, this guy died and came back to tell you. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. And I had to throw away all of my bits and just talk about that story then. So I started thinking, I want to do skits about my experience at Scientology Rehab. I would, Absolutely. That'd be hilarious. Man, with yeah, all due dude. respect, not to sound cheesy, but like this is your The Machine story. Uh-huh. Yeah. It is. And That's why like, I wrote it that way. When yeah. I was 20 years old, I died and accidentally joined Scientology. Yeah, like this is your the machine story. This is what's gonna launch you in the fucking stratosphere. We should. No, I have ideas for merch. No, we should do. We should do a skit, and we should have the medicine man be L. Ron Hubbard, and and, like your dream when you're like dead. We fucking hilarious, bro. I have ideas for merch, right? I want, I want like little wristbands with little sayings on them, and then like my socials in the bottom. They're gonna say Scientology ruined my high. <laughs> Zenu Warrior Princess. That's so good. And Lafayette Ronald Hubbard, because that is his full legal name. Or I is... want all those wristbands and I will wear them every fucking wear. Yeah, I did say L L Ron Hubbard, but I think you had uh I think you had come up with yeah. that as well too. Oh, by the way, we another one is we I have, survived um, Sci- I survived Scientology Rehab. That's another one. We have less than a minute, unfortunately, guys. So oh, the God, Ronald Hubbard. Oh. I know. Should I do the outro this time? Yeah, do the outro really quick. Do the outro really quick. All right, guys, this has been the Gabagooligans. I am the Grizzly Villain, Anthony Rowan, for Scotty Chi, Manny Gassett, who survived Scientology, and the hilarious guy who only sucks dick if he doesn't have to make eye contact, Rick Russo. We are the Gabagooligans. Only with me, motherfucker. (laughs) Come see us all this week. Fucking title, Kicking Wings, Sunshine City, wherever the fuck you see us. Side splitters Friday, me and Manny will be there. Side splitters. I I had back out.